What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it's been a little while, sorry for that. But um, anyways, I wanted to do an update video for you guys. I'm currently working on the setup and working on the house and that's why I've been a little bit busy, but what I wanna do is do a video for you guys on a new gaming chair that I just bought because this one's getting kinda of a little creaky and whatnot and um, the PU, the fake leather, I guess is what you call it, is actually starting to wear out a little bit. I've had it a little over two years, so it's been a really good chair but I actually bought an actual gaming chair. Now this is a budget one. Uh, it's only running like 99 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you guys can go check it out. But also, before you guys go, uh, before we do this, uh, I am doing a giveaway for an Xbox One S on, my, uh, on the previous video that I just did or maybe two videos ago. Um, but I'll link that in the description as well, that link to that. Uh, we are doing an Xbox One S giveaway. Um, that is currently live until June 1st. Uh, 2018 so we will uh, give that away on June 1st and uh, just make sure you guys go watch that video enter the giveaway if you guys want to win an Xbox One S so anyways let's go ahead and unbox this is the Hamal um, gaming chair budget you know budget brand uh, I've heard a few friends of mine actually have it and they like it so far and let's see if it's frosted gaming channel tech channel worthy so let's go ahead and unbox it just give you guys a little bit of an unboxing experience okay so inside the box we've got the bottom obviously the base of the chair so that looks pretty cool anyways it's like little textured grippies right here um, obviously it's going to have some wheels and whatnot uh, we got some metal, got like a metal ring inside there uh, in the center. Probably for stability and support and whatnot. But looks like a pretty beefy base so far. So let's get that out of the way. Get all this out of the way. And there is the chair itself. That looks pretty cool. All right. So this is the back of the chair. Let's go ahead and take this out of the package real quick. Okay. So this is the actual back of the chair itself. Let's get that out of the way. So there you guys go. Looks pretty sweet so far. Not too bad. A little nick. Nope, that's just some dust. This looks pretty cool so far. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and keep going. I ordered white and black to go with the theme of my setup anyway. So this is actually the head pillow right here. Let's go ahead and open that. This is actually the head pillow. So this is gonna go up on the headrest, obviously. Um, it does have a certain way it goes, I guess, but anyway, I think it goes that way. No, it's gotta go that way because the zipper's on the bottom. So there's the head pillow. Here is the lumbar pillow. Go ahead and get that out of the package. There we go, there's the lumbar pillow. Looks like it's got a couple wrinkles in it, a little, little, couple creases. This has got to go some way, obviously, because the zipper's on the back here. But there's the lumbar pillow, goes in the lower back. And then here's the base. Let's get that out of the package, actually. This, this goes underneath the seat of the chair and attaches to the swivel base. And it looks like it has all my parts and adjustments and everything in here. So here's uh, some of the plastic pieces, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. Parts of the chair, we'll just say that. There we go. Nuts and bolts kit, and it actually comes with a medium strength thread locker on it. It's pretty cool. Own Allen wrench with a screwdriver on the other side. Here's our wheels, got five wheels, pretty cool. Here is the post cylinder. This actually goes underneath the chair. This is what you height adjust the chair with. Not too bad, not too shabby. Looks pretty cool. A little scuffed up and dented. Probably from shipping, that's okay. And then we've got the actual 
adjustment for underneath the chair. So this is the part that you flip up and down to go up and down, I guess, and the tension as well. That was a little locked up. Okay, so far so good. Here's one of the arms. Let's get that out of the package. Nice steel construction. There's one of the arms. I don't think they're height adjustable. Nope, not height adjustable. So there is a step up from this chair uh, that has height adjustable arms. This one does not have it. So there's one of the arms. I think that one, that step up, the one that's a little bit more than this one is actually like 119 or something like that. So for an extra 20 bucks, you get adjustable arms and you actually get a footrest that kicks out from underneath the chair. Pretty cool. So there's the other arm. And we got the seat. Get that out of there. Eventually, you guys, I will upgrade to a higher, much higher quality chair. But I just wanted to do a budget one for you guys. Looks like they got the little cutouts for the for the holes and everything. The screw holes. This is actually the seat of the chair, so pretty cool. Um, looks like it has steel construction framing in here, which is pretty neat. And we got steel frame construction under here. And some plywood, sounds like. So, so far so good. Awesome. What's in this little box? Sounds like some more nuts and bolts and whatnot. Yep, it sure is. Looks like the reclining mechanism. Yes. So this is actually the reclining mechanism to recline the chair back with the little handle on the side here. Pretty cool. That is really neat. It's nice and greased up and everything. Let's go ahead and test it out. Well, I don't even know how to operate this thing. <laughs> That is pretty crazy. Anyways guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. We'll chat about it a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty. If you guys want to buy this chair, it'll be down in the link in the uh, description below. And uh, it'll have an Amazon link for it where, where I bought it. Um, anyways guys, we'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty.